video and checking in with more updates to my dye studio with the spotlight on new fabrics and fibers. In another video, we reviewed new products and equipment. It's always fun to try new ideas and new techniques. I may not use everything this year, but I like to be tooled up and ready. Let's take a look. One acquisition is two yards of this bleached, 100% mercerized cotton print cloth from Dharma Trading Company. The fabric is used by quilters, sewers, beginner dyers, and painters. Mercerization is a process applied to plant fibers to increase luster. It is applied to fabric after weaving or to yarns and threads after spinning. Mercerized fibers absorb more water and therefore more dye, making the color of the dyed cloth brighter and deeper, sometimes by as much as 25%. The process gives cloth better color resistance over multiple washings, increased strength, smoothness, resistance to mildew, and reduced lint. Another acquisition is one yard of this bleached 100% linen fabric, also from Dharma Trading. Linen is durable, breathes, and is good for dyeing. It maintains density during use and does not lose color. These small 100% linen napkins are carried by Amazon. They are described as being soft, with a heavyweight feel, 6 inches by 6 inches, with elegant ladder hem stitching and mitered corners. I've never dyed with linen, so I'm interested to see how well it absorbs color. These silk satin scarves are also a departure, since I've never dyed protein-based fiber. They are 8 inches by 54 inches, though many other shapes and sizes are available and are also from Dharma Trading Company. The hems are hand rolled with 100% silk thread and are ready to dye and paint. I plan to use the silk for eco dye, the direct transfer of color from plant to fiber with the right mordant. This Peruvian Highland 100% wool yarn is also a departure into protein-based fiber. The sturdy all-purpose yarn is distributed by Amazon. I'm not a knitter, but the description says the yarn is used for cable stitch patterns, intricate winter sweaters, textured stitches, and everyday accessories. It also felts beautifully. I purposefully purchased this lovely mink heather color to try over dyeing. Over dyeing is the process of dyeing previously dyed fiber with the intent to further change the color. I have a hundred yards. These cotton dish towels are an old favorite and always in my arsenal of fabric. We've been dyeing them since the beginning and they remain a standard. We also have some leftovers from last year, including large and small cotton handkerchiefs and cotton napkins. Some have never been dyed, others have been dyed and I plan to over dye them. Finally, I've been combing thrift shops and my own wardrobe for items to dye. Old t-shirts perk up nicely in the dye bath, and fabric from an old pair of cotton slacks may wind up in a quilting project. Very sustainable. Well, that's it for now. As you can see, I have lots of plans, but may run out of time. Whatever I decide to do, I'm tooled up with various fabric and fiber types and ready to dye.